Hey guys, what's up? It's Abby and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can see from the title, we are getting ready because today is a very special day here in Columbia, South Carolina. It is a game day. If you guys don't know, I go to the University of South Carolina and I am a senior, which is so sad. And this isn't just any typical football game. This is actually my last college football game as an undergrad student. That's really depressing. In today's video, I'm going to show you a typical get ready with me for a college tailgate. I do go to the University of South Carolina and we are in the SEC. So football is taken a little bit more serious, I feel like, in the southern schools. And it's just a huge deal here. Literally the whole city of Columbia like shuts down on game days. And it is definitely going to be one of the colder game days today in the 50s to 60s range for the daytime and then later tonight um, there's going to be a concert in the frat lots where I will be tailgating and it's going to be freezing and I know I'm going to freeze my butt off but you know what basically I'm going to show you guys how I like to do my hair and I'm also going to show you my outfit and I'm just going to show you like my end finished look for a game day I honestly have a very wide variety of game day outfits sometimes I like to go more like dressy and cute oh. I live right by the train. You know, it'd be a fun Columbia game. Take a shot every time you hear the train go by. Sometimes on game days, I like to wear dresses and be like really dressy and cute. And then other game days, I like to be really like out there and wear like really fun, like crazy things. I am currently in the process of getting ready. I already did my makeup. I was going to do it on camera, but then I decided that it's kind of boring because it's literally the same makeup you guys have seen me do on this channel like 10 billion times. So I figured I would save the boring parts and just do my makeup already. I have to still finish up a few things on my eyes and stuff, but I'll do that at the end. The only thing that's different about this makeup is I took a red eyeshadow and put it on my like lash line. That's like literally the only thing that's different about this makeup look. Put like bottom mascara on, but we're gonna do that at the end. But for my hair today, I'm going to be using the Duvel 32 millimeter curling wand from the Pro Series, and I am so excited. Actually nice enough to send me this to try out, and they provide me with a coupon code for you guys to get 70% off any of their heat styling tools. So I definitely recommend to go take advantage of that because who doesn't want 70% off of a curling iron? It's also almost the holiday season, so this would be an amazing gift for somebody. Everything will be down in the description, so go check it out if you are interested. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up and let's do our hair because it looks really bad at the moment. Whenever I'm curling my hair, I always curl my hair on second day hair. I never, ever, 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 ever use heat on my hair after like maybe like a two hour time period of me showering my hair because it just never holds the same. It always looks terrible. I did put a little bit of dry shampoo in my hair just to clean it up and make sure that nothing is greasy. And I'm going to go ahead and take a comb and just kind of fix my part because it looks really awkward right now. Ball it and try to make my part not look like the Adams Family lady. Well, I hate the way my hair looks when it's like been natural and I brush it out like bleh. We're gonna fix it. Don't worry. Okay. Like take it halfway and then curl it. And you don't want to bring it too high up because then it looks really oh hiccup. I try to keep it as close to my head as possible, if that makes sense, so that if you hold it out here it's gonna look really weird. But if you hold it kind of closer to your face, it will like stay down to your face and like frame your face better. I don't even know. I don't really have a time frame. I'm just gonna release it. And ta -da. We have a curl. And I really like this particular like large 32 millimeter one because it really does give you like that beachy just woke up out of bed vibe versus like a smaller curling iron definitely looks more structured in my opinion. There she is. So what I like to do as I start to get towards the back area is actually like when I release the curl like grab it and let it sit in my hand for a few seconds just to let it like cool to its form. Oh my god I put it down. Okay. Um, and that way they just kind of like will stay a little bit better. Pull it down a bit so that I'm getting as close as possible to like the ends. That way you don't get that weird crease at the end of your hair. You want to like kind of... And you also want to make sure you're not letting the curl go too high up on your head. Because that also looks really weird. Like I hate when 
curls like are all the way up here like I kind of like it to be more straight at the top and then kind of curled at the bottom you're doing like a wand like this you want something light because you're holding it up like this for so long but this one's actually pretty light so I really do like that a lot it's like not too heavy for my weakling arm to hold up all right and now we have the curls now as you can see they are very like I just did my hair like from fourth grade kind of vibe. So now I'm all finished curling my hair and now I'm going to let them sit for a second and I'm actually going to go ahead and put on my outfit and then I will come back and shake my hair out and put some hairspray in and show you my final look. Right, I just put on my outfit for today and now I'm going to quickly finish up my hair because I'm officially running late per usual. So I'm going to go ahead and I haven't done anything to the curls yet. I've just been letting them kind of like sit and fall out naturally. And now I'm going to go ahead and flip my head over and just kind of shake them and give them some natural volume. Flip and shake. Depending on how much you like your curls to be like loose uh, will depend on like how much you want to flip them. And then we have big, beautiful, curly hair. It'll naturally fall out over the next hour or so. If you're obsessed with this curling wand, definitely go check it out if you are looking for a new curling wand or if you want to get a really nice gift for your sister, friend, girlfriend, I don't know, whoever it is. Boy, guys can use it too. It doesn't discriminate. We'll have it linked down below and I will have the coupon code linked down below too so you can get 70% off. guys we have a game day outfit I hopefully will not freeze too much I put my sh like I have two shirts on underneath this I'm gonna be bringing a white denim jacket with me just in case for tonight because I know I'm gonna be freezing the idea I'm gonna bring this just in case so I don't get ammonia and die I have on these really fun red sunglasses that are like uh, hippie style these were from amazon like i live for amazon let me just say so yeah definitely go check these out i'll have them linked down below and then i'm wearing this shirt that's very like bohemian i don't even know and then i have these amazing leggings Legging. um let me back up i have these super cool i wasted legging cheetah print pants like flowy pants they are the most comfortable pants ever they're basically like leggings they're so comfy i live for these pants they're super fun too and i'm just super excited to wear them they're really comfy they're so soft these were also an amazon purchase and yeah i will try to find them and have them linked down below too i think they're so fun and just different plus they make your butt waist ratio look superb Superb. And then lastly, I'm wearing some black Zara boots. I was originally going to put on Converse, but I opted out for my Zara boots. The part that I love so much about this outfit is my fanny pack. Like I love this fanny pack. I bought this specifically for game days. I've worn this to a couple other game days. It is just so perfect for game days because I'm the queen. Let, let's just have a real talk really quick. I'm the queen of losing things on game days. Like I've lost my purse. I've lost my keys. I've lost money, dignity. So this fanny pack is amazing because it's so cute. It's super small, so it's not crazy. It also kind of cinches your waist almost like a belt would. So it makes you look kind of like slim, thick, even more, which like pro tip. <laughs> It holds all your stuff you don't have to like have like a purse on your like body the whole day you won't lose things like I just love this thing especially for game days and tailgating sparkly star gems from Halloween so I decided to put some of those on my face too I feel like college is just one big excuse to like dress up like in fun things so I just threw that on my face because I felt like it film a little bit of footage at the frat lots and tonight and include it in this video at the end but I hope you guys enjoyed this video yeah I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video
Bye, guys. I was like, yo.